Welcome back to my channel, Kes here. So today I filmed this um, everyday slash go-to makeup look for me. And the thing that changes the most about this look is probably my lip color. Um, this is what I do if I'm putting on makeup but not doing anything too special. And yeah, pretty much you'll see everything that I do and I'll let you guys know over voiceover what it is that I do to get this look. So if you're interested, definitely keep on watching. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hi guys, so I'm starting off with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and just putting that all over my face. Of course, I have oily skin, so this helps keep my face matte longer. And next I'm taking Maybelline Baby Skin and applying that to my cheek area because that's where I have some larger pores and that helps smooth out my face. Now I'm taking NYX Micro Brow Pencil and filling in my brows, really giving them shape creating the shape that I like to have for my brows. And I really like this pencil. It's supposed to be comparable to um, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Never tried that, but I like this pencil. This pencil. Right, now I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I put way too much on that brush, but I made it work. I like to apply this all over my face and neck. And just blend it all the way out. I love this foundation. I just wish that I had a color slightly more um, like my skin tone. So I hope that they make more shades. But it, it has great coverage. It's very smooth. It makes your skin look flawless. So I really like it. And I sprayed my face with a little bit of Elf Makeup Missing Set because I wanted it to be really blendable, the foundation. Now I'm taking my next Tame and Frame Brow Pomade and filling in my brows with that as well with a small angle brush, just making my brows a little deeper and more um, defined. Sorry for blocking my face. Now I'm just brushing out my brows a little bit with a spoolie. I'm just trying to get the best shape for me. And now I'm taking um, LA Girl Pro Conceal and a small concealer brush from ELF and sculpting out the bottom of my brows. I usually don't sculpt, sculpt with the top of my brows just because I just try to make the shape look as smooth as possible. That way I don't get that halo brow mess. Just blending the concealer down. And then I'm going to apply some more concealer in my inner corners, underneath my eyes, the edge of my nose, my forehead, um, upper lip, and well, above my upper lip and my chin. Just going to blend all that out. That's for highlighting. This is how I highlight. Now I'm just going to blend all that out with my sponge from Real Techniques, and I just sprayed a little bit of up makeup mist instead of that to help blend all that concealer out. Now I'm taking an LA Girl Concealer in, um, the first one was in Fawn, this one is in Beautiful Brow, and this one I'm just going to use to cover up any of my dark spots. And an Eco Tool Blending Brush to help blend all that out. Now I'm taking the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Loose Powder and setting my concealer, and then I let that bake a little bit. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Fallible Powder and my Real Techniques um, Powder Brush and 
setting the rest of my face, setting that foundation that I put on earlier. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl Ebony Browns powder and where I would normally contour, I'm putting that powder just to bring some definition to my face. And I put it in my um, crease because I'm not going to be using foundation today other than highlighting. Um, sorry, eyeshadow, not foundation. So I just like to do that to give my eyes a quick little bit of definition. So now I am taking the Kali Bible palette and using, I use a few eyeshadows in there, sorry I didn't show you guys. But to highlight my inner corner, I think I used a bronze, a gold, and like a champagne color. And I place it in there and I just blend it out so it doesn't look too crazy. Now I'm placing that under my brow bone as well to highlight. And then I put, it's like a matte, almost like a brownish red. And I put that above where I put the bronzer to help blend it out a little bit. Now I am just wiping off the excess Sasha Cosmetics powder. And I put a little bit of um, the L'Oreal powder on the brush to help blend that out. Make everything look seamless. Now I am highlighting my face with a stippling brush with three different highlighters in that Carly Bible palette. Now I'm going to line my eyes with my Ruby Kisses eyeliner, liquid liner. It's a felt tip liner and it's really easy to apply eyeliner with. To me, eyeliner helps you look like you did way more with your face than you actually did. So I like to do that when I want to look a little bit together, but I didn't actually do much at all. I'm taking NYX's blush and mocha and applying that to my cheeks. It's a pretty natural blush on me, so I like to use it when I'm not trying to do too much. And now I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying that to my lashes. I really like this mascara. It is worth the $23, but I hope it lasts a really long time. <laughs> I'm taking Lick NYX's Liquid Suede Lipstick and applying that over my lips. This one is in Vintage. It's pretty much like a darker version of ColourPop's Tool. Now I'm just taking my powder brush and blending out everything on my face just to make sure nothing looks too harsh. And that is the look.